Hi, this is lesson number 56 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this bricks pattern in Photoshop. Basically, we are going to create pattern, we will define pattern and then we will fill it in our selection or in our canvas. So, let's get started. So, the first thing we need to take new canvas, click on file, new. I am going to choose 500 by 500 pixel. This is enough for demonstration. Create and here we have blank canvas. In order to create the bricks pattern, we need to enable the grid. So, click on view, show and here we have option grid. Click on grid. So, here we have big square with six subdivision. This is what I customize for this bricks pattern. In order to customize the grid, you need to click on edit preferences and here we have guide grid and slices click it under grid section here we have grid line every one inch and subdivision six meaning to say this big square is one inch by one inch having six subdivision vertically and horizontally meaning to say six columns and six rows if i will add here two inch now you can see the square is getting big and if we will add subdivision let's say 8 instead of 6 we have 8 subdivision 8 columns and 8 rows i am not going to change we need 1 inch by 1 inch big square with 6 subdivision so i will just cancel it these grids we need to create the bricks pattern more precisely so here we have layer palette and this is the thumb of our canvas before we make selection we need to enable the snap snap to grid so click on view snap to and make sure that the grid is enabled click on rectangular marquee tool and make selection this way i will leave from top one row and i will select three from top and left to right 11 six subdivision here and five from this big square. So, basically this is our brick. The selection is there. We need to create a new layer for this selection. Make sure that you have appropriate color. We need to choose some maroon color, something like this. Bricks color, click OK. This is our foreground color. Press Alt and Backspace to fill selection. So, here we have a simple brick select deselect click on move tool press alt key simply click and drag to duplicate and place it this way leave one column in between once again press alt key and do this way so basically we have here three bricks and three individual layers now is the time to make selection to define the area so, once again click on rectangular marquee tool and make selection this way. Click and drag. At the top here we have white space and the most right side. We really need to make selection this way because once Photoshop will define this area as a pattern, this area will be copied over and over horizontally and vertically to form the pattern. So, once this selection will be copied downward this white space will cover the lower bricks gap and this white space it will cover the left side now our selection is there since we need pattern without background we can turn off the background and also we don't need any more grids click on view and click on grid so this is basically the area we are going to define as a pattern click on edit define pattern and the pattern name by default it is seven because six pattern previously i created so this is the default name if you want you can change you can type your desired pattern name then click ok i will leave it as it is so the new pattern has been defined we don't need this selection click on select and deselect and we can delete that all the bricks let's create new layer so the pattern will be filled on the independent layer 
layer 1 is selected simply click on edit fill and click on custom pattern drop down and choose the last pattern this is the pattern we created now as you can see the name pattern 7 click ok so this is how the pattern has been filled in our canvas and there is a white background if I will turn off the background you can see through the bricks now we are going to fill background with the cement color so double click and choose some color this way background is selected press alt and backspace you can fill this way we can unlock the background right click and go to the blending option we are going to fill some texture so here double click on bevel and impose and click on the texture click on this text here texture this previously I selected so it is there from tree all what we have to do is to reduce the size and then we will increase the depth so it will be a little bit emphasized this way click ok let's apply layer style to the bricks right click go to blending option and once again we will use bevel and emboss click on texture and here we are going to increase the scale and reduce the depth something like this now we are going to add drop shadow double click on drop shadow change the angle a little bit this way click ok here we have light and dark color this is what we can achieve using dodge and burn tool layer is selected here we have burn tool just this way you can make it dark some bricks this way and then we can choose dodge tool to bright up some brick so this is how we created pattern we define pattern and then we fill in our canvas that's all for now i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you like this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time i upload new video thank you